On Saturday, the Islanders added prospect Robin Sallow to their roster. Now, if you don't know who he is, you've probably been living under a rock for a while. So if you've just come out from under that rock, here's what you need to know about him. On Saturday, we found out, thanks to Andrew Gross, that the Islanders had added Robin Sallow, a prospect from the 2017 draft, to their roster. Now, who is he? Well, he's a second-round pick from that 2017 draft. He's a left-handed shot defenseman from Finland who was recently playing for Orebro in Sweden. The type of year he had for Orebro was, um, let me say, electric. He had an incredible season with 30 points in 51 games. He had 6 goals, 24 assists. He was the 10th most productive defenseman in the league and the 14th most utilized defenseman in the league. Now, the SHL is probably, I would say, the second best league in Europe. You have KHL, SHL right below it. So again, 10th most utilized, sorry, 10th most productive defenseman and 14th most utilized defenseman in that league. And he's only 22. Now, I bring up his age for a specific reason, mainly because when you look at the top 10 in terms of production at the SHL level and the top 10, let's say, in terms of ice time, you're looking at veterans, right? You're looking at guys who are 25 plus 30 years old. Robin Salo is already three years younger than most of those guys. And he's already as productive, if not more, and as relied upon than all of those guys. And he's only 22. So what type of player is Robin Salo? We already know he's a defenseman. What type of defenseman? If I had to compare him to an Islander, it would be Nick Letty. He's not, let's say, an Adam Pellick in terms of defense first. His defensive abilities are fine, but it's his puck moving and offense generating abilities that make him the player he is. That Those are his strengths, is moving the puck out of the D zone into the offensive zone for a scoring opportunity or creating said scoring opportunity on his own. He's a fast skater. I wouldn't say he's the fastest skater. Uh, he's very nimble on his skates. Uh, he's just really good at moving that puck from a dangerous area in the D zone and moving it into the O zone. And along that way, high IQ into finding the open lanes or finding a soft area for that puck to go. Just really smart, really good moving defenseman, and he's really good at creating scoring opportunities. And that's why they use him on the power play. He's also really good at quarterbacking that Oro power play and not only finding seams, but getting those pucks on the net, which is something the Islanders struggled massively with. Now, where does Robin Salo sit in the Islanders prospect depth chart? And what are his chances of making the NHL as soon as next year? I have him ranked fifth off my based off my own internal rankings that I've compared all the prospects productions at their various levels of hockey, you know, spit out a number and, and rank them as, as so. And Robin Salo is five. Just below him is Samuel Bolzuk. Samuel Bolzuk and Robin Salo will go head to head for a spot in the NHL as soon as next year. I believe there's going to be an opening at the left-handed side on the third pair for the New York Islanders in 21-22 and it's going to come down to Samuel Balduc and Robin Salo. Both bring different things to the table, whereas you have Salo as a more offensive-minded defenseman, and Balduc as a more rounded defenseman. He's good in, in both areas, not any better on, at one than the other. I might give the edge to Samuel Balduc just because of that even keel, not too high on one, not too high on the other, and he's already played professional hockey in North America, and did well, mind you, uh, where Robin Salo has not yet done that. Sal hasn't played in North America at the professional level yet. I believe he will do so next year, and I believe he's going to excel once he gets there, which makes the possibility of him getting to the NHL next season pretty high. If an injury happens, he's going to be the first one up for sure, and we might be looking at a Devontae's 2.0 situation all over again. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure to do so. More videos are coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has. And we'll see you later.